I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're wrestling Cole, so it'd be kind of hard <laughs> not to. Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Hey man, good to see you. That that slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. CW is all about. Tonight's 
attendances. Oh, never mind. Just enjoy the match, everyone. against the school's code of conduct. These two have the potential to go all night. But I hope they don't, because per the school principal, we have a strict 11 p.m. curfew. There's so much at stake in this match. Let's just say you never know who's watching at a BCW show. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come! I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waste measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? 
So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up and coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see This is some kind of it. joke. Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help but that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh yeah, easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair, combined. <laughs> Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was... In what type of match do you want to get these hands?
I want a regular match. That way I can show Triple H that I can put up a fight inside the ring without having to rely on any kind of weapon. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. A steel cage. Great idea. It's going to be my second choice. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest you start running. Now. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Bootio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox line, The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 244 pounds, Lawrence Davidson. I saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. This guy can pull off the upset over Braun. One in a billion, one in a trillion? Yeah, so, so you're telling me there's a chance.
You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. Was tonight just a one-time thing, or are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract, and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... I proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but. Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. I am so sorry. I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. 
Come on, Hunter, can't you just find him or something? No, they can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations, you did it in record time. Ah! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now, come on, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral! Over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We can turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're gonna stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> All right, all right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, 
BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Eh, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right, yeah, Pete, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Ah, oh, but Hood, the you know, fan yeah, attacked him first. What was he supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and uh, yeah. if 30 years ago, I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. Would. And, you know, uh -huh. I ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what but, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well. You know, this is not, this, this, this is, this is not in the garage. You know, this, this is. There's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs and hands or butts about it. And then that, that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, se a second chance? Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he ain't even had he, he ain't even signed a contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he, he didn't even earn a right for a second chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral and BCW is capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, we, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you gonna order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring, you know, so I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, uh, I knew that was bring coming. Bring some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, not, you know, hey, look, I'll get the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have you as my friend. <laughs> His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator, Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. And word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. 
And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. A smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You don't want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. Message from July 12th. There he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ? and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? Not a fan of masks these days? <laughs> You know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you gonna do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, uh, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What?! There was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight.
For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view. We're Buzz. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? We have a sold-out, record-setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control bigger, okay? Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view. We're Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title.
apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. We have a sold-out, record-setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view, where Bug, that's his name now if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? We have a sold out, record setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church.
Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? That was amazing! The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on, you'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho ho ho! Even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago! Es increíble! What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. This is huge that we're already expanding internationally. Our plan to take it to Triple H and WWE is working faster than expected. See, you just needed to trust me. Study up on some Lucha Libre footage. As you know, it's a completely different style. And if you accidentally drink the water there, 
mit Tights. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. I'm just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations. You know. That wasn't a hallucination. All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. Esta lucha ha sido increíble. Lucharán.
su primera lucha de voz en México y será la última si gana el mago. Muy impresionante la lucha libre de voz. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Ahorita Buzz no parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje. Solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Marron Blade. A mí no me parece que Buzz tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Lo siento, el mago, pero el que se lleva una máscara se parece enemigo a vos. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, vos, y buena suerte. Vos ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? Noche hermosa. Hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Tal vez el mago lo controla. Vos tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! Now, do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento. 
Soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? <sighs> no. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. <sighs> Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? You have a marker. You're a better man than I am. Don't do that again, Buzz. Gracias. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean ducha? I looked it up. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the US. Really? Yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. No! But that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't...
trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rides. After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. Shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seen it. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! I want to thank everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming live from WWE's old stomping grounds. These two are now international stars. Having recently wrestled in Japan and Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon around the mundo. I picked up a little Spanish down in Mexico. In honor of tonight's scrap trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tennis shots. Apparently, we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone can still hear this, we apologize, and we're trying to find out what's going on.
Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally. By Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by- Selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick? That's what I'm talking about! Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry, wrong pocket. Huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is gonna be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW, but it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but uh, something's going on in the crowd. Wait, 
Wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Wait, where are these guys going? They can't do this. Oh, no. What are they doing? Why? What is happening around here?
That's right, you got one. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here right now. It looks now. like these two trespassers Bye. are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. That was awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now. I know, and even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yes. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, 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 but before we get there, how are we gonna strike next? What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh no, you, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. Or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? You know what would be hilarious? If we were DX and one of us was Triple H, that would really set him off. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. See? You never know who's gonna show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? Yeah, come on. You want to go? Come on. Come on.
Okay, you. Theory confirmed. It's the same Scar two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian <laughs> invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the authors of Let's pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 